Here is a list of the equipment that we will be using today. Here is a list of the wet ingredients that we will be using and the quantities of each that you will need. And here is a list of the dry ingredients and the quantities of each of those that you will need for making your pumpkin pancakes. Step one, weigh out all of your wet ingredients into a bowl or jug and mix, but don't include the butter. Step two, now weigh out all of the dry ingredients and put these into a larger bowl and mix. Step three, we're now going to add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and mix until just combined. Don't worry if there are still a few lumps. Step four, you now need to heat a frying pan on a low to medium heat until it's evenly heated all over and then add a small drop of butter. Step five, slowly pour or ladle your pancake mix evenly into the frying pan and allow room for this to spread out. Step six, you're now going to cook until you see holes appear on the surface and the edges look set and then flip over. Step seven, cook the second side of your pancake for around two to three minutes and then remove and keep warm until ready to serve. Step eight, you can now repeat this until all of your mix has been used. And a top tip for you. These pancakes can be stored in the fridge for up to five days, or you can freeze them and they'll keep for up to three months. Step nine, serve up and enjoy. Why not add your favorite toppings such as maple syrup or stewed apples or even a dollop of freshly whipped cream. Yum.